So before I start the video, a commenter actually posted a Reddit post that actually confirmed the time frame video. So if I click on here, there is a source that was actually in French, and this is what it leads to. Ready or not, la sweet spiritual day, soit for est prévu. I don't know what the fuck that is. Ready or not, the spiritual sequel to swap for is scheduled for November. It is quite possible that you had forgotten Ready or Not since June 2017. We had no news from Void Interactive, the small independent studio that seeks to revive the FPS, uh, that seeks to revive the FPS tactical. Tactical? Is, is, that, is that how you spell that? So yeah, that basically proves it. And I'm going to scroll down to... Where is it? Right here. We aim to offer a possibility of a pre-order of June, July, or an exit schedule for November. So basically what they did is they asked them uh, when, you know, this is going to come out. So yeah, that about does it. Let's get into the video. On the last episode of What We Know, we talked about the Dev Blog 1, Teaser and Beyond. Now we're going to be moving on to analyzing the trailer. Okay, for anybody that's still out there that hasn't seen this trailer yet, here it is. 911 emergency. Let's start analyzing. So I think the first thing that I want to do is go to here and add a lighting effect to see if it makes a difference. So I'm going to add this in just to see if anything pops up in the background because I've noticed that there's a lot of scenes that are really um, dark. Basically, I'm just checking to see if there's anything hiding in the background. Um, I'm gonna skip to parts that I think are interesting, so bear with me. So I didn't actually find much of anything that was actually hidden. Um, I found things that were moderately interesting. You can kind of see this guy's uniform a little better, and there is some text in the background. Um, it's not legible though. So yeah, overall disappointing, but uh, let's move on to what we actually see in the trailer. So before I move on, I just want to make sure that uh, I say that this is all speculation. I don't know if any of this is true. So right now we're going to be starting off with Void Interactive. And then it moves on to a... Which I'm guessing points to the single player. But I can be wrong. Up next we got the M14. Look at this puppy. And then they show off the G36C. Up next we see a guy that's like looking left and right. You can see that his neck is moving if you speed it up. And his eyes that are moving left and right that makes it seem like he's clearing a room or something. And then we have what I believe is a spaz shotgun. I could be wrong, but I think that's a spaz. And then we have a guy that's holding a taser. You know, not a lot of games actually use tasers. So it's actually cool to incorporate one. And then we've got the battering ram, man. I can't wait to actually use this thing in battle. And here we, here we get like a play just 
But of course, I'm not going to skip over the part that we just saw. So what can we learn from this scene right here? Well, one of them is holding a shield, and another person has a battering ram. And also, it looks like we're in some kind of apartment area? And there's another gun here, the Walter MPK machine gun. Now, I could be wrong, but I think these are two different areas. I mean, because why would they have two hallways next to each other? It just doesn't make any goddamn sense. Now, this picture right here, this guy to the left, he, he's a pretty good shot because he nails that guy that's way over there. Take notes about this area because we actually know what it's called. It's called Apartments, and it really baffled me because I thought this was like a train station or something. Just judging by the clock right there. Another thing to mention is that there is some kind of compass looking thing down here. It's weird how we see this here, but not in the previous scene. Yeah, it's just nowhere to be found. Well, moving on. And then we get a close-up of the shield and what looks like a guy that's holding a G36C. Up next, we got the anal staircase scene. And I'm not sure if this... I think this either might be a strip club or a bar. Um, and we have two guys that are just standing here while there are a bunch of bodies. Which leads me to believe that these are bad guys. Because they're not clearing the building, they're standing here. And usually, SWAT officers wear helmets. And if they have a gas mask on, they'll still have a helmet, right? Now this is just a theory, um, but I believe that these are bad guys, and I've noticed that there's a lot of um, these guys throughout the trailer, so these might be like the main enemy, possibly? Uh, it's just it's just speculation, but still. The scene that comes after this one is a guy that's laying dead on the floor, and the one thing that we could take away from this, that this is obviously the apartments area, because the floor looks exactly the same as the apartments picture that I just showed you. So up next we got a guy that reaches down to fill the pulse of a little kid and uh, if you speed it up you can obviously tell that he's he's not there. I saw this and I'm thinking is this going to be a mechanic where we have to feel the pulses of all the victims to see if they're alive? That's an interesting mechanic and I kind of hope that we see it but uh, I don't know how they're gonna implement it. What if on the console they vibrate the controller to tell you that there's a pulse? That'd be interesting. Now this scene right here might be one of the reasons why they're being quiet because of all the recent mass shootings. Um, I hope that they keep this in because this is just a video game. It's not real life. So please keep it in. What this scene shows me right here is that there's going to be some kind of a cult in this game. And we all know how cults can be. So this next scene actually shows them in a forest. This is interesting. Um, that would mean that the, we would have a level that's actually outside and we're probably looking for like a killer that's like on the loose somewhere out here. That's that's kind of cool. Uh, I would always like to see an outside mission, especially in SWAT. You know, at first I thought that the scene was going to need a lot of... You know, at first I thought that this scene was going to mean a lot, like this was the bad guy and these guys were hostages just with masks on. But then I actually brightened it up and it turns out that this is the cop and these are the bad guys so the next scene shows off a training area which is also in swap 4 the scene also gives off a vibe of maybe single player maybe that or possibly a tutorial area maybe and then after this we see the guy with the gas mask open up a crate and he's probably trying to shovel one of these bastards out for some kind of nefarious deed and then we see a guy on top of a catwalk but i'm guessing he's above the tutorial area because i think the catwalk is behind these guys and then after that is the ready or not with the line going through Nothing really special here except for special weapons and tactics. And then after this we have the two SWAT guys walking in and then the suspicious guy just standing there as the light goes on him. Yes, the bad guy. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I get the feeling that I'm missing something. Oh no. Oh no. No! No!